how to paint daisies. I'm going to be using acrylic paints. I'm going to be using cadmium yellow, lemon yellow, sap green, leaf green, titanium white and cobalt blue. Uh, I'm using mixed media paper, uh, a wide brush and a medium round brush. The first step is to get a nice thick layer of cobalt blue on the paper. I'm using my wide two inch decorators brush and simply crisscross action to get a nice thick layer over the middle section of the paper, big enough to cover my uh, daisy image. A little bit more going on there, not quite enough to cover as much of the paper as I wanted. And then I'm going to let that dry completely before moving on to the next section. It's quite critical really because uh, once you start mixing in the other colours, if the base isn't dry then, then you're going to get not quite the right effect that you want. Now I'm loading up my medium round brush with plenty of titanium white and I'm going to mark out an oval shape with the white. Now initially this might look quite patchy, uh, but not to worry because uh, it's only the very first layer we're going to be working on top of this. Next I'm going to be working some of that lovely lemon yellow into the titanium white oval shape. It will still look quite patchy, but we have several more layers to go on top. Um, but these initial layers are to really reduce the power of that blue where the daisy is going to sit. And once I've got an oval shape that I'm happy with, I'm then going to start marking out where the uh, outlines of the main petals of the daisy are going to go. And again, these will look quite patchy to begin with. The main petals are in fact just basic triangles, um, very roughly, uh, and uh, I'm going to keep adding to them until I feel that they're balanced. Um, they're wider obviously in the centre near the this oval and then come out towards the tip on either side. Uh, and then as we move around that oval shape, the shape of the petals will change depending on perspective. Some will be foreshortened and some will disappear into the back of the painting and we won't see the full shape of the petal. Um, hopefully you'll see this as I go around. These are the ones that are at the back of the daisy and are the furthest away from us and we don't actually get to see the tip of the petal at all um, because it's behind everything. Whereas the ones that are at the front will actually come towards us and therefore be foreshortened. It's only really the petals that are on either side of the central oval that, uh, that we get to see the full length and lovely drape of that beautiful petal shape. Here we have the petals at the front of the daisy. These are the ones which are going to be slightly shorter than all the others because they are actually coming towards us. I'm going to keep probably adjusting these until I'm happy with the balance because I don't always get them right first time. To, but, but that's the beauty of acrylics because you can actually uh, keep adjusting things until you're happy with them. So 
I'm happy with my basic flower shape at the moment and now is the time to start marking out roughly where it's going to join the stem. Um, and if you look at the underside of the daisy there is a quite a little wide section that comes off underneath that oval uh, which eventually funnels down into a few little tiny leaves and then moves into the stem. So I'm just going to try and mark out roughly where I think that's going to go on my painting. Uh, now I you, it's not essential that this is very precise at this point, we're just using a very light amount of white titanium. Um, so it can actually be adjusted as we go along. Um, so it's just a suggestion of where I think it's going to go at this stage. The first layer of my rough outline of my daisy is now dry, so at this point it's now time to start putting our second layer of acrylic paint uh, onto the outline and we will start to really fill in some of those patchy gaps. Uh, again I'm working with a lot of titanium white and then I will introduce a little bit of yellow, um, probably the, the lemon yellow again before I start moving into the cadmium yellow which is the lovely dark buttery one. And then I'm going to actually move into using the sap green um, and, and the white again on the stem. So this is the first layer of the lovely sap green going on, just marking the shape out again on top of the first white outline and then I will start to add highlights on one side and low lights on the other. Now I've let that completely dry uh, and some of the blue has started to show through the white of the petals so I'm going to add a third layer, uh, concentrating in particular on areas where I think there would be highlights in the white, where, where the sunlight would hit directly. Uh, and then after I've put those areas in I'm going to bring out some of the low lights specifically to the white petals by using a very faint touch of green. You can see I'm working around each one of the petals there to really make a point of enhancing the areas that are in shadow using that lovely dark green and then smoothing it into the white. And there we have our final daisy painting.